It was from here that Inmarsat listened for the last moments of flight MH370 after the plane disappeared from radio and radar communications. The mystery of its fate shortly after takeoff from Malaysia's Kuala Lumpur International Airport never resolved. The president in Beijing was constantly updated on Inmarsat's efforts to track the plane through so-called identification pings. Those pings, plus a lot of incredible engineering work, allowed us to show the direction of travel of the aircraft that, in fact, amazingly, um, it flew for more than seven hours in the direction of Australia. And that was incredible news at the time. China's relationship with Inmarsat dates back some three and a half decades. But there are issues of the future that the president will be focusing on while here. And we have ignition. A Russian proton rocket blasts off from Baikonur in Kazakhstan. Its load, a third generation Global Express platform, which will complete a triangulation of three satellites giving the world its first global network for the delivery of high-speed broadband. The $1.6 billion project means every region on Earth, no matter how remote, will be capable of receiving high-speed computer links, including trains, boats and planes. Particularly important in emergencies, it is also, claims Inmarsat, perfect for China's radical One Belt, One Road trading initiative. Well, that's the exciting thing about Global Express. It's fully global, it's on the move, and it's 50 megabits per second anywhere to the same device, wherever you take it in the world. It's a fantastic enabler for business and commerce, uh, and therefore a very important component, we believe, in the future export efforts of, of China. Among others, China's fishing fleet already uses Inmarsat technology, the hardware for it manufactured in China. Inmarsat executives here will be hoping the visit by Xi Jinping will click on even closer working relations. Richard Bestek, CCTV, Inmarsat, London.